So, Blender 2.9 came out a little bit ago and you want to know something about it. Hey guys, welcome back to That's by Kai, I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender once again. Taking a look at Blender 2.9, it's out finally and I'm excited because it's always a great day when Blender has another version. So, uh, there's a couple of new things, I, I kind of want to just uh, hop in here and test them out. I don't, of course I, I didn't look at everything because I like being surprised when we go in here and do this uh, first impressions or whatever, you know, quick look. Um, so. One thing that I do know that I'm really excited about is that motion blur is now fixed, um, which is a big deal because it was messed up for like all of 2.8. <laughs> um, so that's really cool. I'm going to kind of go ahead and just make sure everything looks the same. I think everything looks the same, right? This this is all looking... Something looks different here. Something looks different in, in, in this panel. Like I think things look bigger. Is that, is that what it is? I'm not sure. Um, this looks different, I believe. This was not all in a row. Um, be, ooh, we have little dots here. Ooh, okay. Those little colored dots were not there before. Um, but usually there's there's a big graphical change, and I'm not seeing things. Oh, yeah, the, the, the dots are all over the place. This is cool. So now we can see the the uh, the vector and the you know the regular over here, which is really great. So that's really pretty cool, actually. Um, yeah, sweet. I like that. Um, but yeah, everything looks pretty much the same, which is nice for. Uh, you guys, so I don't have to completely reteach a GUI again, which is which is really nice. Um, yeah, everything looks pretty much the same, which is really nice. I enjoy that quite a bit. Um, we got modeling, sculpting, everything is still the same. This looks pretty much the same. Looks like what they did in 2.9 is they just added a lot of really cool features that we'll have to I'll have to look up and we'll have to go through um, together uh, in at another time. But for now, this looks this looks pretty much the same. Like so, we have these dots here. We have I know we have motion blur. Let's test the motion blur real quick, because I know we have that. So let me just do something real quick. Real quick. Uh, that there. And maybe we'll put uh, that there. That, no, grab it. There we go. And uh, there we go. And move it over. There. And there. All right, cool. So now the animation looks like this. Super easy. <laughs> Nothing crazy. I'm just going to make that like that. And now if we were to go ahead and render this, you should be able to see. Wait, 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 wait what's going on here? Oh, <laughs> we should be able to see. Oh, it has this really weird. Ooh, what's this about? Hold on now. Wait a minute. Let's take a look at this real quick. Did I change a setting and not know about it? <laughs> I, I might I might have hit some, I might have hit something in in our testing. Hold on, wait a second. Let me do let me <laughs> let me do that again. <laughs> that was weird. Hold on, wait, wait. All right, we're gonna insert in a location there. We're gonna move it over, and I'm gonna scale it down as well. Let's try this again. That was weird. I don't know what that was. Uh, there we go. And in frame, gonna be about maybe eight, and then we'll hit render. Oh, okay. So, we are having something kind of weird here. Let's see. So now, ooh. Is it because of the light? Let's see. If I grab this light, what's this light set on? A thousand. This light set on a thousand. I, I, I highly doubt it's the light because it doesn't look like it's the light. Yeah, it looks like this is just, oh, wait a minute. Is it, is it, it's not the material. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so I close Blender and reopen it, and it's not doing it anymore. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> all right, cool. I love it. I love it. We're gonna do it one more time just so I can test it. We're gonna scale it down and move it over. <laughs> all right, okay. Um, and then we're going to change my in frame to about nine. Uh, actually, this is not fast enough. All right, and we're gonna test it again. And wow, cool. <laughs> It's not doing it magically. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and enable motion blur now so we can be able to see if it actually does work. And it does. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, ex you have no idea how I'm excited, how excited I am that this is actually working because this did not work for the longest time. And you guys know that motion blur is a big part of motion graphics. Obviously, I mean, it's in the name. Um, so that makes me really happy that that's back. That's probably the biggest thing I'm excited about that I know of at the current time. But even when I learn the other things, I'm sure that it's all going to still be not as good 
as the the motion blur. I'm not, I just not gonna lie. We did not have motion blur and Eevee for a long time, and I was really upset. So that's probably the biggest thing. Um, I keep thinking that something looks different. Like this is all looks, looks bigger. It looks bigger. I don't know why. Um, but I doubt that it actually does. I think it's just me. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and look through this again. And anyway, I don't like I said. I don't see much of a GUI difference. I'm thinking that they just added a lot of really cool things. I did see the motion, but like I said, I saw that. Um, but everything looks pretty much the same. So this quick look isn't gonna be as cool as I thought it was gonna be. Cause you know we're we're just looking. <laughs> but uh, really quick, let me actually go ahead and I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the stuff that they said that they changed and we'll take a look at that real quick so let's go ahead and do that something that i think is really cool that is uh that's probably no big deal to most people um for someone that uses blender on an almost daily basis to make these tutorials or whatever i think it's very cool that everything is now more compact so when we open up normals here it used to be that auto smooth and this checkbox was on a different line it was like up here and then the slider was like down there um and now it's like all on the same row which i think is very cool and it's very helpful um it just looks better and it, it is it, it takes up less space than it previously did i think that looks really really cool um so that's very something very simple and very seemingly stupid but i think it's uh very nice as well but like i said there's a lot of things that they changed not too many things that we can we can go over in two days like quick a quick look but there's quite a few things uh always head to the blender website.org blender.org to take a look at all of the changes there's a really cool change um, there's a lot of changes to a lot of different things, but there's some pose mode changes, there's some uh, cloth physics changes, there's some ocean, modify cha ocean modifier changes, um, and there is quite a few um, extruding and moving and posing, uh, not posing, um, modeling changes. So like if we go ahead and go into, um, if we go into uh, edit mode here, there's a lot of changes to things you can do with extrusions and things now, which is which is quite cool. Um, but we'll get, like I said, we'll get into all that stuff in depth at a later date. I just like always doing these quick look videos um, just to acknowledge the fact that there is another Blender version out. Uh, we will be doing uh, tutorials on Blender 2.9 and uh, I want you guys to go ahead and download it and test it out for yourself. I like when you guys go ahead and do things and be like, hey, check this out. This is something that I wanted to know or something that I figured out. Um, I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next tutorial. Um, but until then, bye-bye.